This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 18, Computing Actual Lengths from a Scale Drawing. The student outcomes for this lesson. Given a scale drawing, students compute the lengths in the actual picture using a scale. Students identify the scale factor in order to make intuitive comparisons of size and then devise a strategy for efficiently finding actual lengths using the scale. Pause the video and write down the essential question, how do you calculate the actual length from a scale drawing? Vincent proposes an idea to the student government to install a basketball hoop along with a court marked with all the shooting lines and boundary lines at his school for students to use at recess. He presents a plan to install a half-court half design as shown below. After checking with school administrators, he is told it will be approved if it will fit on the empty lot that measures 25 feet by 75 feet on the school property. So below is the scale drawing and the dimensions are 1 and 2 thirds inches for the width and 2 inches for the length. And that is the scale drawing. So we need to calculate what the actual dimensions would be using a scale of 1 inch representing 15 feet. And then if it fits on the lot, they will be permitted to build it. So let's take a look at what we know and what we need to find out. We know that the lot size is 75 feet by 25 feet. We know the scale drawing size. We need to find the actual length and width. We know that the length must be less than or equal to 75 feet. And the width must be less than or equal to 25 feet. Find the actual lengths. Will the lot be big enough? So uh, recall that we are using a horizontal table here. And the first row going across is the x value. And the second value going across is the y value. They give us the information above that the scale 1 inch on the drawing corresponds to 15 feet of actual. So we can go ahead and start filling in our table. One inch on the drawing represents 15 feet of actual length. And recall that this is the scale. This is the constant of proportionality. And it is also called the unit rate. When x equals 1, y is the constant of proportionality. So we know that on the scale drawing, the length is 2 inches. And we know that the width is 1 and 2 thirds inches. And we need to calculate going from x to y. And recall that when we use a table that is vertical, when you are going from x to y, that you multiply by your unit rate. So here we will be multiplying by our unit rate, which is 15. So 1 inch on paper represents 15 feet. And 2 inches on paper will represent 2 times 15, or 30 feet. And 1 and 2 thirds inches on paper times the unit rate of 15 will equal 25 feet. So now we know the actual length and width. That is 30 feet and 25 feet. And will it fit on a lot that is 75 feet by 25 feet? And yes, it will. Both of these numbers are less or equal to the given dimensions. The diagram below represents a garden. The scale is 1 centimeter for every 20 meters. Each square in the drawing measures 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. Find the actual length and width of the garden based on the given drawing and explain how you arrived at your answers. So in order to do this, the first thing that we need to know is what are the measurements on the drawing. So this is 1 centimeter, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have a length, which is equal to 8 centimeters, and then the width, 
one, two, three, four. The width is equal to four centimeters. And the scale is one centimeter for every 20 meters. So the drawing length, which is the scale amount, is one centimeter, and the actual length is 20 meters. Then the drawing length is eight centimeters, and the drawing width is four centimeters. So this type of a table might be confusing because we have been using the vertical table. So let's just look at what that would look like. So we have the scale as the x value and the actual as the y value. And when x equals 1, y equals 20, and that is 1 centimeter represented by 20 meters. And then the length on the scale is 8 and the width on the scale is 8. And so you are finding out what is the actual amount. And we've learned that when you are going from x to y, that you are multiplying by the unit rate. So our unit rate is actually 20, because 1 times 20 equals 20. So we multiply 8 times 20, and we get 160 centimeters. And 4 times 20, and that gives us 80 and actually, these are meters, not centimeters. So you may be more familiar with this type of a table. One of the things that I wanted to point out on this one is the difference between scale and scale factor. The scale has different units of measure. So in this case that we have used the scale, which is one centimeter on the drawing represents 20 meters of the real garden. And that has different units of measure, centimeters and meters. The scale factor is expressed as only one unit of measure. So while you start out with one centimeter over 20 meters, you need to convert so that they're in the same unit of measure. So when you convert this, you convert the larger amount to the smaller amount so that you wouldn't end up with a fraction. So 20 meters, we need to calculate how many centimeters that would be. And there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So 20 meters times 100 centimeters per meter is equal to 2,000. And so the scale factor is 1 over 2,000. And now this is all represented in centimeters. So the purpose of using a scale factor is so that you can really see how much bigger the actual garden is compared to the, the original or the scale drawing. And it is uh, 2,000 times bigger compared to the picture. So understand that you can use the scale or the scale factor. The scale factor does require extra work because you have to convert to the same unit of measure. Or you can use the scale and just pay attention to the unit of measure in the answers. Example three, a graphic designer is creating an advertisement for a tablet. She needs to enlarge the picture given here so that 0.25 inches on the scale picture corresponds to one inch on the actual advertisement. What will the length and the width of the tablet be on the advertisement? The drawing length is the picture on the left and the advertisement is what we need to figure out. So our scale is 0.25 inches on the scale. 0.25 inches on the scale corresponds to one inch on the advertisement. And the length and width on the scale drawing is the length is one and one fourth and the width is one and one eighth inch. Now to calculate the missing amounts here, what you need to re realize for this problem is that 0.25 is not the scale. 
or the scale ratio is uh, you're looking for the multiplier and the unit rate is when x is equal to 1 so that would be when the 1 is in the x column so here you need to figure out what the scale ratio is so here the to calculate that it's y divided by x which is 1 divided by 0.25 which equals 4 and so this is four times bigger. Then you can multiply by your constant or your unit rate, which is four. And one and one fourth times four is five inches. One and one eighth times four is four and a half inches. So the length and the width of the tablet in the advertisement is five and a half inches by four and a half inches. I don't know if I said that right. Five inches by four and a half inches are the desired dimensions. Students from the high school are going to perform one of the acts from their upcoming musical at the atrium in the mall. The students want to bring some of the set with them so the audience can get a better feel for the whole production. The backdrop that they want to bring has panels that measure 10 feet by 10 feet. The students are not sure if they will be able to fit the panels through the entrance of the mall since the panels need to be transported flat, horizontal. They obtain a copy of the mall floor plan shown below from the city planning office. Use the diagram to decide if the panels will fit through the entrance and use a ruler to measure. So let's take a look at our map entrance and we see that it is three-eighths of an inch going across and the panel that we want to fit through is 10 feet so we want to know if it will fit through the mall entrance and they don't give us a table to fill in here so let's go ahead and use the table that we have been using in class we'll make a t-chart and we'll label our x and our y and the we're looking for the scale one eighth inch on the drawing represents four and a half feet of the actual length setting up our table we've got the scale and the actual and the information that they give us is one eighth inch on the drawing is four and a half feet on the actual. So we have one eighth inch in the scale drawing represents four and a half feet in the actual. So let's go ahead and calculate the ratio. So four and a half divided by one eighth, and that gives us a ratio of 36. So what that means is that one inch on the paper scale drawing represents 36 feet in the uh, real mall. Now the dimension that we're looking for is 3 eighths of an inch in the scale drawing and we want to know how many feet it is in the actual mall. And we know that when uh, going from x to y you multiply by the constant so 33 eighths times 36 and that gives us 13 and a half feet. So we know that the real mall entrance is 13 and a half feet wide. The panels are 10 feet wide and so the answer is yes the panels will fit through. 13 and a half feet for the actual width and a 10 foot panel will fit. So just to review, this lesson has been about computing the actual lengths from a scale drawing. So you set up a table, you calculate your scale given the information that they give you, and in one of the cases we could just multiply by the whole number in another case where they give you a fraction then you need to calculate the ratio and then use that
In this lesson, you have learned the scale factor tells us about the relationship between the actual picture and the scale drawing because it gives us an understanding of how much larger or how much smaller the scale drawing is compared to the actual picture. And how does a scale drawing differ from other drawings? In a scale drawing, there exists a constant ratio of scale drawing length to actual length, whereas other drawings may not have a constant scale ratio between all corresponding lengths of the drawing and the actual picture of the object.